another reason why we have so many things. It just needs a little repair. How many of you say things because it needs a little repair? Yeah, we all do. Right? And that's because when we grew up, you could repair things. Today, it's next to impossible to repair most of these things. So here's a scenario that probably happened to most of you out there. My wife and I, we have a coffee machine or the coffee maker, and it's up on the kitchen, uh, kitchen uh, counter, and it has a timer on it. <laughs> so when we get up in the morning, the uh, coffee's already made for us. It's a big convenience. It's great. Well, what happens if the timer breaks? Well, it's no good. <laughs> it's going to cost $30 or $40 to get it repaired. So we may as well just go out and buy a new one. So we go out and we buy a new one, and we put it on the counter. What do we do with the old coffee maker? Yeah, we save it. Yeah, we save it. Because we don't know if we're going to like this new coffee maker. What if it stops working after a couple of weeks? And you know, it's always good to have a spare. A box. Yeah, what do we do with the box? We save the box. So now we have three times the volume that we had before we got started. <laughs> so what do we do? Well, so here's a suggestion. In fact, here's a challenge for you tonight or tomorrow or whenever. Go home and gather all these boxes together. You're going to find them up in the attic, down in the basement, out in the garage, in closets, everywhere. Get them all together and get rid of the boxes that you don't feel that you're going to want anymore. Save the ones that you do. We all want some of these boxes. I do. If I buy something, I, um, I usually hold on for three months or something because I feel better if I can put the object back in the box when I bring it back to the store. It makes me feel like I'm proving that I bought it there, right? Okay, so you, but, uh, so you get rid of the boxes you don't want, save the ones you do. Now, find a designated area for these boxes. It might be on a shelf out in the garage, or on a table down in the basement, or under a table in the basement. But bring all the boxes that you want to save and put them there. Now, the next time <clears throat> that we buy something that comes packaged in a box, and we want to save that box, <coughs> well, we just bring it down to the designated area, and we're automatically going to see all the other boxes. And we're, oh, that, that's been there a year now. I don't need that one, and I don't need this, and, and put the box in. So you'll automatically be getting rid of boxes as you add boxes to the pile. And why not do the same thing with things that need repair? If you feel that you're going to repair it, or pay somebody to repair it, why not find a designated area for things that need repair? It could be right beside of our boxes. <laughs> so no. And then you give yourself a goal. It might be three months, six months, maybe a whole year that you feel you'll get it repaired by, by your goal. A year, half a year, whatever. All right, now, if it has not been repaired by your own goal, it's probably time to get rid of it. Now believe me, I know how difficult it is to get rid of something that needs just a little repair. Oh, it's so hard. About three years ago, I had a uh, computer printer that stopped working. It took me a long time to figure out the reason that it wasn't working is because when I put the uh, ink cartridge in, the little golden pins there, there was one pin that was broken, and it was floppy. It wasn't connecting, and, you know, the, the uh, printer knows that, well, actually, they know back at the company <laughs> that there's a problem. But anyway, so it wouldn't work. Well, you know, if I had just, if I just hadn't gotten rid of my soldering iron, I could have fixed that. <laughs> But I go out and rid of it, you know, well, I'll never need this again, right? Uh, but anyway, uh, so I took it down to Best Buy and got rid of it. 